Hello everyone and welcome to our channel of travel tips and reviews. In this channel, we give you tips and reviews on travel destinations, accommodations, what to do and where to eat. And for this video, our destination is Mission San Juan Capistrano. This place is dated back to 1776 and it is known as the jewel of the mission. Welcome to Capistrano. The historic landmark and museum is arguably the birthplace of Orange County. It was founded more than 200 years ago as the seventh of 21 missions statewide and features a chapel still standing where St. Sarah once celebrated Mass. The mission includes groomed gardens, water fountain, and koi ponds to relax by. This place is huge. It did take us all day to go through the whole entire place. There are several museums to visit, so there's plenty of things to do. Originally built as a self-sufficient community by Spanish Padres and Native Americans, the mission was a center for agriculture, education, and religion. Today, it is a monument to California's multicultural history, embracing its Native Americans, Spanish, Mexican, and European heritage. They also offer daily guided tours and host a variety of art and culture activities each season. This is the original Stonewall Church that was built many, many years ago and crumbled due to the earthquake, which you'll hear more about later on in the video. Although majority of the structure has crumbled down, you can still feel a sense of grandness when you're in the space. The way the majestic feel of the architecture and the natural turned color stone that it is currently right now, it makes this place so beautiful to just take a moment, stand still and just take it all in. Long before the Spanish explorers colonized the Americas, the Ahatraman tribe inhabited this land. In the mid-1700s, about 1,000 Native Americans, later called Juanenos, hunted, fished, and lived in the region. Father Juli Peracena, a Spanish priest, founded Mission San Juan Capistrano in 1776. It was the seventh in a chain of 21 missions established during the Spanish colonization of the West, which is now California. The mission was named after St. John of Capistrano, an Italian saint. Construction of the mission began in 1797 and took more than nine years to complete. When the Great Stone Church was finished in 1806, it was the largest stone church west of the Mississippi River and the largest structure built by the Spanish during their 65 years in California. High in the tower of the Great Stone Church, the sound of the bells regulated the daily activities of mission life. The bells called the community together for meals, religious services, work, funerals, and announced special visitors. During the morning mass on December 8, 1812, 
and took away crumbled church walls, rebuilt and the bell tower collapsed, killing 40 worshippers. The stone church was never rebuilt. Its majestic ruins stood alone against a background of rolling hills and barren land for almost a century. Native American artwork called frescoes can still be seen along the inside of the remaining dome. The half circles in the walls called niches held statues of saints. I am Monsignor Michael McKinnon, and I am the pastor and rector of Mission uh, San Juan Capistrano, and I have been here since July 1st, 2014. From the first day that I was here, we celebrated Mass in the Sarah Chapel, and I thought this is something that I'm going to look forward to doing for as long as I'm here. Every time I walk through the mission grounds, and I see that groups of families and, and groups of school children and people from around the world, just the just the walking around and, and just recognizing the peacefulness and the prayerfulness, and also the sense of history. The first thing that hit me when I walked into the Great Stone Church was the connection to the Basilica and the, the efforts that were made in the 1980s to build a church on the property outside the, the historic mission, but on the property that's part of the parish church um, that uh, is a replica, but about a third bigger, of the Great Stone Church. And then looking in the, in the, the basilica and saying, okay, this is where this is, and this is where this would have been or is in the Great Stone Church. Just again, that, that idea that, you know, that connection between what was what is and what will be is, a, is an amazing gift that the mission gives us, you know, to be able to look forward through the lens of history. It, it's just a tremendous gift that the mission is to, to all of us in Southern California and all of those who are visiting here um, today and, and in the future. Outside of the mission itself, there's also a lot of things that you can see, do, and eat around the area. I love the little Capistrano Center where the community gathered. There are shops and really good restaurants. So when you're hungry, you can go out, you eat, and the ticket do allow you to go back in. So there's in and out once you purchase the tickets. So as you can see, this is the cooking section of the original mission. This here are the stoves and you can still see remnants of the fireplace and the cooking area. And over here we have the gardens. There are several ways that you can volunteer here at the mission. You can either join and be part of the teaching crew, be one of the gardening angels, or if you're good in finance and business, you can join the Financial Guild. Make sure you contact them through the website and phone number for more information. Hey there, thank you so much for watching this video. If there's a destination that you want me to make a video of for next time, let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel to see more videos just like this. Until next time, may your travel enrich your life and may your life enrich others. Stay safe. Bye. I put out to me, baby. Dick's trying to match you, baby.
No me dejes solo, baby Realmente necesito Aparats, mi baby Te extraño, macho, baby No me dejes solo, baby Realmente necesito Aparats mi baby, te extraño macho baby, no me dejes solo. 